Thank you. And but before we get started, we would like to introduce a guest speaker, uh, no stranger to anyone in the EXP world, Jason Guessing. So Jason, if you'd like to introduce yourself, since I know you've seen so much go on with EXP. Yeah, you bet, Jim. And thank you, Jim. Thank you, Stephanie, everybody on the commercial team. I'm really excited that these uh, weekly sessions are kicking off. So if you know somebody who couldn't make it today, I think we're going to do these every single Thursday. And uh, just excited about that and everything that we've been able to do since we started EXP Commercial. Thanks to Jim and Stephanie and our entire team. Uh, for those of you who are not part of EXP and its ecosystem today, I'll just give you a little real quick you know, all 50 states, I think we're in nine different countries right now. We've launched five at the end of last year. We've got four more on track here in Q1. Um, and uh, we're in just about all of Canada, uh, some 600 different MLS uh, market areas around the United States alone. Uh, and about 50,000, well, excuse me, about 40, 42, 43, I don't know what our last reported number was, 40,000, say, roundup uh, uh, agents uh, across all of those markets globally. And where we've succeeded, and uh, and you know, if you ask some folks in the industry, we are we're the fastest growing brokerage in the history of residential real estate in North America. And I think we've succeeded for two reasons. One is that uh, we figured out how to build community without the costs that are typically associated but, uh, with building community. Specifically, we operate in in, in a world that uh, is uh, online. It's got uh, classrooms. It's, it's, got tra it's got training rooms. It's got uh, soccer fields. It's got uh, fully staffed places where you can get tech support, financial support, operational support, broker support, um, and it's a really vibrant place. And so you, you have an opportunity to make real uh, deep and meaningful relationships and also solve problems together. And so we figured out how to do that. Uh, and the other piece is that everybody at EXP, and this is true of everybody who joins EXP Commercial as well, uh, everybody in the company is a shareholder of EXP World Holdings, the parent company of uh, EXP Realty, of EXP Commercial. Um, and we trade on the NASDAQ under the symbol of EXPI. We've been issuing shares through structured programs uh, to our agents for doing things that good agents are going to do anyway. Closing their first transaction of the year is just one example. Um, and so this whole concept of agent ownership uh, has both, I think, changed the relationship between the brokerage and the agent. Uh, but it also has culturally created an environment where everybody wants to solve problems together, where everybody, wherever they're located, whatever their background, whatever their area of expertise, wants to come together and build the best company we can. Now, with respect to commercial, I, I personally have seen for some time that this is a great opportunity and potentially a greater opportunity even on the re than on the residential side, just because of some of the different income differential and the earning opportunities here. Jim and Stephanie will get into all of that, but basically, you know, you can earn more, you can learn more, and and we're at a time really where, uh, you know, this is a, a commercial real estate is an industry, and in particular, certain sectors are, are about to go through this enormous change. And I think back to 2009 when our founder Glenn Sanford uh, started EXP Realty. Often he would talk about uh, this perfect storm of fixed and rising overhead costs. Uh, you had a down market with lots of foreclosures, lending standards were tightening and people couldn't get loans, they couldn't buy, sellers couldn't sell. And at the same time, you had this consumer that had more information than ever before at their disposal, thanks to the internet. So it meant agents had to find new ways to find the business and new ways to add value to the consumer beyond just the data. And uh, I think in some sense, with respect to commercial, here we are nearly 11 years later, and it seems like a bit of a deja vu moment in that, you know, with COVID, uh, you have people who are moving away from large cities and the offers towers within them. Uh, retail, I'm sure, is, is challenged. Uh, commercial brokers, really now they need to figure out how to add value without being face-to-face. -face. Hotels have suffered. And so such a large portion of the workforce, in addition, has now come to the realization that working remotely can work, and it can work on a go-forward basis uh, even long after the pandemic has subsided. And so commercial uh, it, you know, I think inevitably becomes more digital. And, and in certain classes of property, uh, you know, properties may need to be repurposed entirely in recognition of, of a new normal. And uh, for those firms that are specializing in some of the struggling sectors, the, the same dynamic of fixed costs with diminished revenue uh, will be at play again. And just like in the residential, excuse me, the residential industry 11 years ago, uh, I really think that EXP commercial will be a logical, if not inescapable solution. And uh, I just have the feeling that with the leadership we have and where we are today and where this is going, uh, EXP Commercial is gonna be transformative uh, to commercial real estate. I hope some of you were able to attend uh, the week-long training sessions that we did. I think we did one two weeks ago. We did one 
uh, earlier in the year, uh, phenomenal sessions with real substance, everything from uh, different property types, what triple net means, Delaware statutory trusts, uh, user, utilizing optimum systems. I mean, it's just phenomenal, phenomenal uh, program and there's certification that, that uh, we have issued through it. Uh, but it's one example of how our world comes to life and how together we can all think about some of the biggest challenges that commercial real estate and commercial real estate clients are facing now or will be facing. And, uh, you know, I, I like to think that, you know, we can either solve these things at a local level in independent offices where, you know, you hope that the, the office 10, 10 you know, miles down the road hasn't solved it already, or we can all come together and into our world, all as fellow owners and really try uh, and, and uh, help shape the future of what commercial real estate can become. So, Jim, Stephanie, thank you very much for uh, letting me come on here and just say hello. Uh, and uh, thank you, everybody, for joining the webinar. And, and uh, reach out if you have any questions. And thank you, Jason. You give us such tremendous leadership and um, support every single day. And that's one of the greatest things about this company since I joined three years ago is just th the way that we can all connect and collaborate with one another and where all of leadership is completely reachable because we're here to benefit every single agent that comes on board and every owner that brings their company on board like I did. We started this venture in investigating commercial real estate and the proper way to stand it up about this time last year. And we did that by researching across this country, commercial brokers and commercial agents with all types of companies. We wanted to make sure that we stood this up in a mindset that works for true commercial brokers and agents across the country. And what we found was that the value props didn't exist, high splits were out there, high, high monthly fees to, to do business. A lot of brokerages were way behind, uh, decades behind as far as technology goes. And real estate, commercial real estate, especially like Jason mentioned, is absolutely changing. And so these brokers and agents that we interviewed were very interested in finding out how am I going to survive? What do I need to implement into my business? So many of them not operating with a CRM or a market center to make them professional. So many of them not having the tools to go out and absolutely get listings and grow their business. And all of that is what we took into consideration when we stood up this model and brought Jim Wong on from Ferry, who's been in the commercial industry for 23 plus, 24 plus years and, and knowing these things. And what the power is, is exactly what EXP Realty has built with this one global company. We're not independently owned and operated. We're not only as good as the owner of that office can make us. We are as good as all of us. And so when we're able to expose commercial agents and brokers into our world platform so that they can collaborate with the 42, 43,000 plus people, business starts happening. New opportunities start happening. When we're able to go out and demonstrate all the necessary tech tools that exist and get the best products so that we can use our buying power to pass them on to you at a reduced rate, it makes the broker owners have an opportunity to elevate their company that they've already built. It allows for agents to come into our company and elevate and truly grow their business. But something that's very important to me is at 21 years old, when I got into this business, all I wanted to do was sell commercial real estate and lease and, and, and not deal with the residential aspect. And I was told so often, we can't train you. We don't have the time. We don't have the education. We don't have the tools to be able to take the time to make you successful. You need to go elsewhere. You need to go to residential. And that is something that Jim and I and Jason and this entire company believes in is that we need to bring to you the education to make you better. The, the knowledge to not only understand commercial real estate, but so that you can be productive and be a producer in commercial real estate. And we want all. We want, we want the 21-year-olds and the 30-year-olds to aspire to be commercial brokers. That's exactly what we want. And that's why we're building this platform to the masses so that we can all get in here and do business together all over the globe. Jim? Yeah. And I'll just add, look at the excitement. If you are at EXP for three years, you are going to get excited. And that's why, you know, it's partnering with Stephanie, learning the system and this platform that we're creating 
because I did start as I, I started in Wall Street, went into portfolio management, cut my teeth as Mark, at Marcus and Millichap. So those that know what Marcus is like, we have Marcus type of training, but not so much in the box of just that type of training of just cold calling and doing what you're supposed to do on certain things, but we expand, right? We're learning what the new technologies and what you need to do. And with EXP, with Verbella, the platform that we use and the economies of scale to bring and get all the technology we can to make every broker, whether you're doing transactions, leasing and business opportunities, which I think is gonna be very huge within EXP commercial, you have a home. And that's why all these referrals are gonna be going back and forth, which I see already that's going on. And from the 45,000 realty agents, they want coaches, they want seniors, they want mentors, they wanna pass deals, they wanna collaborate. I mean, we all know it's the law of large numbers. When, for those that were pure commercial real estate agents, we build a farm. We call our farm, we keep on the networking, we meet other people within our company, but using the EXP platform right now, we're reaching a larger group and we're opening it up not to be in a silo, but to collaborate and coordinate and work with each other and using technology for on-market listings, off-market listings, needs, wants, and 1031 exchange. We're using technology so it's all coordinated together. We're breaking up into product type specialists right now. Some of you are, are leaders here that we're gonna be doing multifamily retail office, industrial land, land development, triple net leasing and business op. And we're gonna break those even uh, more so. We're gonna talk about capital markets and finance, asset property management, receivership, which I think many of the commercial real estate agents here are looking and waiting for. When is the shoe gonna drop? What's gonna happen, right? We can only have so much stimulus money to hold things up, but then things are gonna happen on the commercial end and residential land. For those that were around back in the 2009, which I have, I mean, not that many uh, gray hair, but you know, been, been around for a couple of market cycles and saw what happens, but we're creative, innovative, nimble, and we adapt to make sure we can find these opportunities. And that's what's great working with this team. We are already built on the backbone of success. So it's nothing that we really have to uh, prove. Realty, EXP Realty is already very successful. It is, as, as everyone's looking at the stock or looking at how many agents are joining us, it's very successful. Building commercial, obviously a different animal. As Stephanie said, we are a separate commercial brokerage company within EXP World Holding. So the leadership within EXP Commercial are commercial leaders. They have owned their own company. They are industry influencers. They're high producers. They used to own their own firm. They used to do something of, of large influence. And all of us together are putting our minds together to create the best platform. And I will say the best platform. I know Stephanie will go into that of what we offer, but there are so many things we're going to do and not be in the, inside the box and also have this technology. So of those who came to the training and we will do quarterly training every quarter for one week so you can come and see what EXP commercial is about, bring other friends to learn about it. And not even everyone that is, is part of the company, you, there's going to be events that you can come by. We're going to open it to everyone. There's going to be some for EXP, all of the agents and some for EXP commercial only. So you're going to see kind of the value of joining and being with us, but we're always going to share with what we can offer because we are going to work with many trade organizations. Uh, last time that we did this, almost seven of them are interested in addition to some universities as using Verbella and our EXP platform for a training ground to educate and bring knowledge, best practices, how to do deals. But the good thing is helping everyone network. So Stephanie, if you want to talk about the platform. Absolutely. And that's what this is. It's a platform that you can really elevate yourself into. And this country, or this company rather, has always been agent centric. It's always about the agent and how we can always better the agent. And so with everything that we studied and all the research that we did, our split of 80-20 with a $20,000 cap is just completely unheard of when you start talking to commercial brokerages across this country. 80-20 split, $20,000 cap. Jim, how many guys do you know with cap on one deal? Lots. Well, we always say if you make $100,000, you know, you can You're find capped. a better way to do it. Yeah, you cap already. Many of us that came from markets that are in, in different companies, we all do about, you know, we said that's the middle class. 250 plus or minus is the middle class for us. 
And a lot of people are always reaching out about our tools. And so we, we, after demonstrating as many as we did, we chose build out. Build out is not only a CRM, your deal pipeline management. It is your marketing center for your OMs, your flyers, all of the things you need to be professional in this business. But we also went a step further with that and made sure that once we upload the listing into build out, it's going to syndicate out to all of those commercial platforms. Any of us that have been in commercial real estate, as long as we have know that all these separate commercial platforms to advertise on, you've got to manually upload to each and every single one. We chose build out because it does that work for you. There's other sites that will always be added onto and so forth. But another one that was very important to us was making sure that you had the research tool so that you could log onto a network, look at any commercial property, land, anything across this country, be able to see what that property is about, what the comps are for that property, who's the owner of that property, what's the owner contact information, what's the mortgage, uh, mortgage information, what is those properties most likely to sell because they're at that rate of depreciation, and that's reonomy. And a lot of times, brokers will say to me, we'll build out $800 a month, reonomy is $500 a month. We are able to package that along with all of our other EXP tools with Skyslope Transaction Management, our workplace platform where we're all in there networking, Verbella, and all the other tools for $250 a month. That is the only overhead that you have with EXP Commercial. And we do that because we're able to get into this world and collaborate all in one place. And just like Jason said, everyone at EXP has these unique opportunities where we all become agent owners by earning equity awards as we sell real estate, where we all have this opportunity to bring and attract other agents in and build a revenue share stream uh, that goes back and forth with realty and commercial because we are truly owned by that one parent company, EXP World Holdings. And yes, we have training on build out they're actually going to be in the world this Friday at our national meeting. Uh, they come into the world twice a week, same with Reonomy. And so, and they're also uh, very responsive when you reach out and you need help. <clears throat> Jim? Yeah, Stephanie, and that's a great, great thing. So those that are interested to learning more, happy to, to talk to your sponsor about getting a guest pass for our meeting that we have this Friday at 9 a.m. PST, because we're going to have all the kind of the tech platforms, our, Ver our Verbella platform, what, is, what does it mean? How does it help? Uh, or with, we're talking about Reonomy, we're talking about build out. So it's really the technology core tools that we're using. And the good thing is as, as we're opening up EXP commercial, we're collaborating with all the different parts of our company because I know with Verbella, they're dealing with many of the Fortune 500 companies, as Jason said, they're dealing with just people about, they're not gonna go back to their offices anymore. They need to find a new way of working. And come on, Stephanie, we work so much using this platform. It's an incredible and it's efficient and it works. The only bad thing for everyone is we don't know when to take a break. We don't know <laughs> when it's a vacation or a weekend. It's we're just too easy to work. It's too, exciting. it's too easy to work. But that's the great thing about this company is, is, you know, the culture is so different. You know, I owned my own independent brokerage. I owned a franchise prior to that and uh, grew it to be, you know, hundreds of agents uh, large. But the collaboration here at EXP on the realty and the commercial side is what is so impressive. Because we all are shareholders in this company, we truly care about best success in Alabama. We truly care about Lindy's success in Texas. We truly care about Matthew's success in New York. We are here to help build one another. And that is why it's a different culture of we teach and learn from one another. We want to share everyone's product specialties. We want to share how we market. We want to share the, the tricks of the trade. We're not in competition with each other. We're in business together. And it's a very different, unique culture than I've ever experienced with any other company. Don't you agree, Jim? I would say so. Since uh, I've always been a pure commercial real estate agent uh, from Marcus, so much so that I owned my own firm, that my firm was about uh, 160 commercial brokers, only commercial, and we did about $2 billion in sales every year, ran French, national franchise organizations, and, you know, I'm always skeptical, and, and, you know, even with revenue share, I had to kind of learn a little more about what that meant, right, because I did serve a lot in organized real estate for many, many years. I was always involved, 
always involved in diversity and inclusion and promoting uh, opportunity for all to learn this business. So before it was kind of a secret business. You could you had to be led into a club and, and then they share this experience. But we want to share it with all. We want to create as much opportunities so people can learn this and, and spread the wealth. Because the great thing is through this network, People can talk to each other, uh, connect with each other. I'll say when I was doing 20 to 30 calls when I first came over to EXP, I got to learn so much great talent within this company. And I see Brad and I see Keith and I see a lot of friends. <laughs> Fantastic people. You know, but that's the thing. We can start networking, making friends. I'll tell you. And those that have, have taken this time to reach out, to network, to use the social media, and those that are in EXP just reaching out. Just say what you do, what you do well, how you want to help. We want to groom new leaders because, right, uh, Stephanie, you want to talk about the Icon Award? I think you've had Icon Award ever since you started here, but this is a big one. And what that do you have to is. do for Icon? Well, and that's the thing about Icon. And at EXP Commercial, if, if, you, if you earn 500000 in gross commission income, that means you, Icon. That means that $20,000 cap that you've paid in, you're going to receive it back in stock. And that is life-changing. And you're right, Jim. I've Icon three years in a row. It is life-changing, life-changing at that moment. And what is so impressive about that, and I share the story because it's true, when I own my independent firm, we all know what it's like to own or, or be in real estate and have something. Without, without me in that company, what was the value of it? Or was it even worth anything? All somebody was going to buy was potentially my book of business. And so when I rolled into EXP, I turned down a half a million dollars on the table because it was a one payday. And I am so glad I did. Some people said to me, Stephanie, you just turned down a half a million dollars. I said, I don't care because at EXP, I have an opportunity to become an owner. I know I'm going to icon. I know I'm going to be awarded stock and I'm going to own something much bigger than $500,000. And I'm so glad that I saw that vision because that's exactly what happened. And we keep growing. We keep going up. We keep getting successful. And with all these new ventures and all of, of the, the success magazine and everything that's coming onto this platform, it's just the way of doing business. And we are that disruptor in that space. And well, I love what they said about the company. We're the Amazon of real estate. And the good thing about this and culturally what I'm finding out, our leadership is open-minded. They're flexible, they're creative, right? And, and they don't stay in kind of a silo that they don't want to make changes and live on the laurel of their success. They keep in innovating and improving. Right. And I love that because, you know, we all are students of life. We need to constantly keep learning, learning from each other, sharing with each other. That's why those that are involved in organized real estate, we, we collaborate, right? We love to join CCIM, SIOR, crew, you know, ICSC and different other trade groups because we're learning from each other, right? We're, we're, we're adapting, we're figuring out, we're sharing opportunities. And this is what is happening at EXP World Holdings is all the different parts of the company is collaborating, working with each other, sharing, not being in a silo, passing referrals and deals to each other. And and our our, our job here with Stephanie and I and the team, because I have to tell the team, can't do without the team. Got to give a shout out to Lindy, Billy, and uh, Bernard, who, you know, I know they're in the background uh, shutting the lights <laughs> and everything, but it's the team and the team is constantly growing. And yes, on the tech tools, right? I'm just going to say with CoStar and other tech tools, we are negotiating, we are working through, we are talking to them. I know Stephanie's doing that on a daily basis now, and we're glad we're doing this because now we can uh, talk to as many people as possible while we're doing the day job of negotiating, finding out all the tools, everything else that you, that you need, right? We're here to serve you. We're not on a pedestal. We're here to serve you and make this platform the best for you. And what I mean by platform, this is a, a kind of a joint venture with EXP, commercial with EXP, that you can brand yourself, right, with the company you started. And it's for you to figure out do you want to do transactions? Do you just want to be a single practitioner? Do you want to grow your team? Do you want to be a teacher? Do you want to be a mentor? Do you want to do recruit? What do you want to do? And that's the best thing. And, and you get paid in so many different ways for doing what you want. And that's what I would say uh, when I was going to teach actually a, and speak at one of our um, uh, a consulting group. You know, when you do what you love, you're retired, right? Doesn't mean it's easy, but if you volunteer, find something you love to do 
and just do it and do it well. And you will realize with the people you're around, it's just fun. And that's what we're having at EXP Commercial because we, we mentioned that many times, right, Stephanie, that we got to have fun while we're doing this, right? We don't Absolutely. want it to be brain damage. And, and it is fun so far. And I hope with others that are with EXP or your uh, sponsors, they can share some of your stories. But you're going to see with what we're doing with Bernard, our marketing manager, because many people will say this, I haven't heard anything about EXP commercial yet. I haven't heard anything. What's going on? So we do have a blank slate. But the good thing is the people that have been joining, the deals that we're doing, all the success that we're doing right now is going to start being put out there. So people are going to hear more and more and more. But this is the ground floor. Stephanie, anything more to add? It is. And, and it is. I mean, we're that vehicle, right? We're that platform for you to take the business you've been doing and absolutely explode it and absolutely grow it. And look past what local is. I was such a local-minded broker, successful, but very local. And, and joining this platform and EXP opened my eyes up to all the other opportunities that are out there, that uh, ways for us to grow our business and to grow our team. And most of you that know me know I have a real estate team that does the real estate business because I absolutely love to serve this company and have met, fallen madly in love with, with this, this job of how we grow and build across all these states and these different countries that we're opening. But these conversations that we're having from you know, large brokerages to small brokerages to just independent agents is, you know, how am I going to connect with someone in Texas if I've got a multifamily buyer? How am, that's what it is all about. It is so easy to instantly build relationships, receive referrals, because we got a lot of residential agents that don't touch commercial because they don't have that skill set. We have business going back and forth. It is just massive opportunities and we are just at that ground floor and they're already deals are already happening. Steph, can you add, cause I saw some things in the chat about, you know, can you recruit or, or, you know, bring people from residential to commercial or international and then also what we are planning possibly to do with, yes. with having multiple kind of uh, um, companies that you can be involved in. Well, and so that's the thing about, you know, us being owned by EXP World Holdings means we're all sister companies. So, yes, if you are at Realty and you know a commercial agent, you can recruit into commercial and you will uh, sponsor that agent and vice versa. Uh, if you have someone in Mexico, absolutely, they can join EXP Mexico. Um, those are the things that make this wonderful. We're separate brokerages, so we have the identity so that true commercial can be true commercial. Um, but we are one big family. And, you know, our goal, which, Jim, if you get me in trouble, you open this up. So it's on you. Um, but our goal is that you can be in multi entities with us. We want to see agents being able to be at Puerto Rico and also be licensed in the U.S. and vice versa. We want to see agents joining Realty and also joining commercial in the states that allow for that. We want as much expansive opportunities. So we've got a lot of great things in play. We've got a lot of great things in the queue. And that's one thing about us is, is that we listen. We are here to serve you. We listen. We love feedback. We can't win on everything, but we love to hear feedback. And one of the greatest things that I love to show, tell people is, is that if you haven't tried Reonomy, try Reonomy. It is business changing. It's proven for my team. I've heard from a lot of different people across the country who hadn't heard of that tool and they've been using it and they're all messaging me going, oh my gosh, Steph, you were so right. You were so right. So everybody check out Rihanna because it's a very cool and they'll be at our national meeting on Friday as well. So I, I do stress that if you are interested in kind of learning a little more and definitely learning about our, our platform, you know, talk to whoever invited you so they can give you a, a world pass, kind of see what we're doing uh, on Friday, tomorrow at 9 a.m. PST. And I know there's one that uh, there were some comments coming on about international. Well, the good thing is Michael Valdez and I are very close friends. Uh, he is running our international global expansion, doing a great job as we're trying to get five every quarter, five countries. And the greatest thing that we're saying, he always says, I didn't even have to get, a, uh, get on a plane to grow those international offices. This is fantastic. Because one of the things that everyone reaches out, commercial, 
inter as an international and luxury, we all have the same clientele, high net worth individuals, uh, very sophisticated people that we work with, our companies, our groups. So commercial obviously is coming together and we are working to expand, hopefully working with people in Canada, hopefully Mexico and the rest of the countries, but work more lock sync with what Michael and their team is doing on the global growth so we can make sure with commercial, we're, in, we're a part of the conversation because many people, I'll tell you this, I'm already in conversations about moving tremendous amount of money to America to deploy for ground up construction because they wanna sell some of the uh, new condos or new sales, but if those are that are in, in uh, residential real estate, you can't find it without multiple offers. So we, you don't even need to go outside the country now to sell it, but a lot of international business wants to come back to the US they are looking at certain marketplaces for ground up construction or a bargain. So this is very exciting to coordinate internationally and how we put this all together to, to create opportunities for everyone here. And that's the one big thing through what we're trying to build. We're gonna to try to create deal flow and opportunities, whether it's juniors to be mentored or real estate you know, referrals that we can pass out. And we are building all these pieces to really make our firm one of the best, but a, a fun firm. And, and I always say, if you become successful, give back, help out, mentor, teach other people, get involved. I mean, so much so it, it's, uh, well, and I'll share a little, my, my best thing about learning this is uh, losing everything, right? I thought I was retired at 36, lost it all. I should have bought the single family homes back in the uh, 2006, 2009 time, right? And I would have been retired, but that's okay. Had the broker firm fed my broker firm because I had to pay two fifty to three hundred thousand a month was my nut to keep my yeah. company going, and and if I would have done with EXP what they've done, I think I would have been retired. But I do love giving back, and 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 I told Stephanie. Normally, when I first started commercial real estate, real estate didn't look like me. Real estate looks like everyone here, you know, uh, of just different shapes, colors, you know, just different diversity and different people that. That is something strong that I believe into the core that we're pushing to give anyone that's interested, that's work, willing to work hard. It's not an easy business, willing to work hard, the right. opportunity to shine and thrive and have the best platform. Because I know those that get a lot of love of, of growing and become very wildly successful. Usually I've seen they give back, they give back and they help others. So anyway, that's my little story about it, but I do love the company and I've learned. I've learned from every, everyone is there to help you. Stephanie, your experience, I know you. <laughs> great. No, ab absolutely true and absolutely great. And I love when you share the story of the truth because, you know, having that vehicle, if this vehicle would have been there for you back then, it would have been a different animal. And that's, that's the great thing about this. You know, when I rolled my company and everybody said, you're giving up your company. No, I'm going to own a bigger piece of something much bigger. That's the way to look at it and to have those opportunities. Um, but uh, another tool uh, that Keith said to everyone is, is data tree, which is phenomenal. Uh, we will hopefully be rolling that out right at the beginning of March. Uh, but these are the things that we need to bring to all the agents so that you can be successful. And it's never going to stop growing and changing with those tools. And so we will always be innovated. We love hearing about other tools. Um, but uh, I think today has been wonderful. If anyone has any questions, I think they can email us at info at expcommercial.com. But do, if you've been invited to this call, reach out to the person that invited you, and we're happy to, uh, to answer any questions that, that you have for them. In the room with CoStar, we are working with them. Everyone knows it's not as easy as we thought with CoStar. And, and one of the things is they need to work out on their system because of the size of our firm. There's just a lot of things that uh, CoStar need to work out, but we're working through with them, trying to figure out a solution. So and hopefully an add-on to what everyone needs, because I know a lot of people here do not need CoStar, do not want it. Some people do need it from a national level to a regional level to a local level. And I know Stephanie and our team is working on it. So we're trying to find a solution uh, very soon. So hold tight. Absolutely. Uh, but we're trying to put the best practice for everyone here as a group. And we're working on all the tools and it's just not CoStar. For those that do other tools, biz by sell, Real Next, we're trying. We're talking to them. Other uh, companies like Trep, you know, we're talking to. So there's a lot of other tools we're working to. But I will say, 
I don't need to be cloned because I know people are using my Zoom with different pictures. I said, Stephanie needs to be cloned because, you know, I want to give her a big shout out and applause. She's the one that's setting up all of the states, bringing all the integration, working on Canada. I mean, she's just doing so much. And, oh, Stephanie, what about the, the national contract? Come on, let's tease them a little. Oh, you <laughs> tease about that. You're going to get us in trouble. <laughs> No one knows, but, it, but it's a big one, and that's important. You know, and that's the thing about, we do, we work about 18 hours a day to just make sure that, you know, we, we can't get anything perfect, but, but by God, we put our team and Jim, myself, we put every ounce of every energy to make it as great as possible, and that's what's so phenomenal, and again, this goes back to that collaboration and so forth, so um, we're happy to be here. We appreciate everybody's support, and again, if you have any questions, reach out to info at expcommercial.com or uh, talk to the person that, uh, that invited you to the call, and we're going to keep these going. Jim, any final words? Well, I would just say, you know, since we have Friday coming up, you try to get a pass, look and learn about Verbella, what makes the company very successful with the platform, the culture, and then network with people. Because I think the last time when we had this training, we're going to try to figure out how people can network with each other a lot more. And you're going to see and watch our calendars because we will be inviting people on the different product types. So if you're specializing in multifamily, retail, office, industrial, land, land development, triple net, right? We are going to start putting things together so you can start collaborating, learning best practices, learning to pitch your deals, putting your on-market, off-market deals, right? Because a lot of deals are not listed. They're off-market. So we're trying to put an internal platform or in some external platform so everyone can share information. But this is the big one where we're working to try to get one of some of the largest 1031 exchange material and information to plug in because as, as those that are in commercial, they are the best buyers, right? They are the best buyers and we're going to plug them in. So it's going to hopefully match up when you put your on market listings in, you put your off market listings, right? You got to put some numbers, product type. You don't have to put the exact address and it's going to match up with exact buyers so they could reach out to you to hopefully consummate a deal. So we are always thinking outside the box right. and being extremely creative. And that's why Stephanie and I will text or call each other like two or three of the day. I, I mean, literally we just don't sleep. I think uh, I, don't even <laughs> need the, I don't even need my coffee as those who know me. I drink coffee all the time, but I don't even think I need it because I just very enthusiastic and passionate about real estate, about helping others and just this new platform. And who wouldn't want to be here to say I was there to change the industry. And, and I always like to say, everyone here that joins or be, uh, is a part, and you, you know, it's sometimes it takes time for others. And I'll, I'll give this takeaway. This is yours too. This is ours that we grew to disrupt and change. It's almost like saying, I was there with Amazon. I was there with Uber. I was there to be there to build it on the commercial end. And that's exciting. But the other things that I've learned and I've heard over and over on the realty side, Sometimes you have to say, let's wait and see. And you got to wait for when it's right for you, right? It, 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 it may not be right, right, right now, maybe right later. But a lot of times what I hear from Realty, because I've been around hearing about EXP, and it took me about four years before I came over. They always say, I wish I would have went when you told me. That is one thing that if you talk to any of your sponsors and other people, they always say that to me. But you need to choose when it's right for you. But I would always say, be open-minded, explore. That's what I did with eXp because actually I was going to turn my old company into a, uh, a, a IPO and, and go public and roll it together. So I was trying to learn from eXp, but always be open-minded, never be closed-minded, never shut anything down, explore everything because you can still make good friends and good connections and you don't have to jump over, right? But it's good to network, make friends because you're going to create other opportunities. And I'll say all of my friends at Marcus, we didn't always all stay at Marcus, but we're friends by just staying in the industry, staying with good friends and people we know, so we can still collaborate and network with each other. That's why never burn bridges and just always stay open-minded. That, that's my final thing, Steph. 
Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Jim. And thank you all, everybody, for the support. Again, if you have any questions, we're going to uh, email them to info at expcommercial.com. And in the event that uh, you had someone invite you to the call today, do follow up with them. Do get questions. We're happy to answer all of those. And I did see in the chat, and I want to answer this question, uh, Canada, 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 question mark, question mark. Uh, we are working on Canada as we speak. We're, we're a few months away, but we are working on Canada as we speak. So we will be EXP Commercial of Canada uh, very soon. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Have a great day. Bye-bye.